It's been a year since the Greensboro Fire Department lost one of their own. Robert Swink was a 26 year veteran for the department. He worked as an engineer for the last 10 years of his career. Last year, October 31st, he lost his battle with cancer. He was declared an official line of duty death by the International Association for Firefighters in August. The fire department wants his legacy to be remembered as they continue to find ways to protect firefighters from cancer. Robert Swink was devoted to his family. He loved fishing. Um, he loved a good glass of bourbon. He was serious the way he approached the job, but he always had a kind word, always was quick-witted, um, just a, a, a fun guy to be around. Dave Coker worked at the department with Robert Swink. He says Swink was diagnosed with prostate cancer. He even came out of remission, but shortly after, he relapsed. It was when the cancer came back, it it moved quickly, it metastasized very quickly, and he declined pretty pretty quickly when he went back into the hospital. It was crushing, um, you know, when he passed. Swink's cancer was considered occupational cancer. This means the cancer was caused by repeated exposure to cancer-causing chemicals while on the job. Coker says Swink is not the only firefighter who battled this. It's not a building collapse, it's not being caught in a fire, it's not cardiac events like it used to be. The number one killer of firefighters are, is occupational cancer. The Greensboro Fire Department has made progress over the years to limit firefighters' exposure to these chemicals. Each firefighter has two sets of turnout gear. When one set gets dirty, there's a clean set for the next emergency. The department also has showers on scene for firefighters to hose off immediately after a fire. These limit exposure, but Coker says there's still work to be done. When we have personnel pass away, they, you know, they, they live on through the stories we tell around the kitchen table. Um, there's pictures of Swink at Station One where he was assigned. Um, and we keep them alive, their memory alive, through sharing those stories and the good times together. Um, you know, our hope moving forward is that we can reduce occupational cancers in the fire service so that, that families don't have to go through this loss, fire departments don't have to go through this loss. The department is looking to implement more advanced screenings for cancer. They also hope more research is done about their turnout gear because there are cancer-causing chemicals in the material.